Oh, rest in peace. Rest in peace, indeed. Yeah. Well, uh, hey guys, welcome back to the Something Original Podcast. My name is Chase. And I am Gannon. And this week we have a special guest returning once again, the legendary Jacob. I am here. Welcome, Jacob. Welcome back. This first time. I mean, we're we're doing the video now. So, how how yeah. you feeling? I like it. It's cool. It's cool. A little yeah. more personal. We're hip. A little bit more personal. We're not. Yeah. We can't be naked anymore because we might get mon- like demonetized on YouTube oh. and stuff. You see this? You see this down? <laughs> yeah. Just I was gonna saying. say you could you could put it on the hub. <laughs> That's what we were talking about doing. I didn't <laughs> do it last time, but. Um, you know, you should do a naked version and put it up on the hub. 20 Patreon subscribers. <laughs> Just throwing it out there. Oh, we do. I do also want to say um, I you set something up with. No. no. You said just one. <laughs> That's all it takes. Chase selling himself for 20 people, huh? The internet is basically concrete. It is forever nowadays. It is there. Someone will instantly well, screen mean, screen record it, and we'll delete it. You know, we'll have, like, families down the road. Next thing you know, we're blackmailed. Yep. I mean, you know, who cares? Who cares? Hey. This is hey. our life now. Is your name Gannon? No, <laughs> okay. Your, would you do, I'm going to ruin you, your life. <laughs> would you go completely naked for one episode? We don't even have to show anything. We just have to be, like, kind of just scandalous. Then how do I, I know you're naked? You could just be shirtless. Exactly. Well, okay. We'll we'll come up and just show a little peek, but we'll blur it out. Okay. But it'll it'll be enough to know that oh, like they are full full blown. Gucci I mean, you edit these out. videos, my dog. <laughs> I'll do it. I can do it. But I mean, okay. But hear me out. Would you do it for? We get a check from from P Hub for a million bucks each. We we taking it or no? Bro, as a guest on the pod, I'd do it for a million bucks. Bring me back on here. The fuck? <laughs> a million? Let's do it. We call it a, a That's mil. a million dollars? Yeah. Yeah. Tax free. Yeah. You don't have to pay taxes on it. Oh, yes. 100%. Even better. Yeah. As long as none of it's going to the man. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll put myself out there for 20 bucks and a cheese stick. Just as long as it's not going to the man. <laughs> Chase, I'm going to have to see what you're doing later tonight. Oh, shit. I got 20 bucks and a cheese stick for you. I'm trying to get weird, man. <laughs> it's back in the Wicked. Oh, get man. Weak. Anyways, what I was saying is we set something up on the podcast host where... We are offering a subscription service just on the base platform. It doesn't have to be Patreon anymore, guys. We, I think it, I think it might be for all platforms, but it might also just be for Spotify. Um, so if you listen on Spotify, there might be an option where you ha- you can subscribe for ninety nine cents a month, listen to the podcast ad free, or Spotify is going to create a ad version of the podcast. And there will just be ads mixed in, or they might just be at the end or at the beginning. I don't know how it's working. I'm going to test it out this week, see how it looks, see how it feels. It might be on every platform. It might just be on Spotify. I don't know yet, but that's something naked to look version. forward to, maybe. The naked, naked version, version on Spotify. Well, on Spotify, I don't think you can do the video. Exactly. It won't be you on just, You can just hear our balls just clapping against the couch <laughs> or such. Well, uh, hey Jacob. I mean, welcome back. Uh, yeah, thank how you, you. How you been? How you been since the last time we've talked to you? When was the last time? It was, was like on. when we came back from our hiatus. It was like when you were one of the first guests we had back on. I feel like it's been a while. I've been good. It's been a been a hot minute. You're yeah. still in the the Kentucky. I am. I am. I'm how's in the same it, apartment, too. How is it down too. there? Same apartment, really. 
Yeah, it's cold. My apartment lease is almost up, though, so I either have to find a new place or renew. Yeah, rent prices are going up, too. I know. That's got me thinking I might just stay. Yeah, it, it's probably better to stay right now than to look for a new lease. But this is actually a cheap time to um, find a new apartment because, like, in the summer, that's when the price increases. Yeah. I, I got to keep my eyes out, but everything's been pretty pricey and it seems yeah. like most of the options i've found are paying more for either less or yeah. the same kind of thing or quality you know so yeah. if that's the only thing i can find i'll probably end up just staying here yeah i think gannon's probably got the best situation he's got he's essentially giving he's being given a business to live in well i gotta really? buy the business but yes you got to buy the business, but, I mean, a that couple nickels and a cranberry, you know? $20 in <laughs> like, a cheese stick, you know? $20, $20 in a cheese stick. <laughs> it goes a long way. I cut you a deal of $10. Shit, oh. you are oh. cheap. <laughs> <laughs> two cheese sticks. You got yourself a deal. Okay, $10 in two cheese sticks. you throw in an extra sticks. cheese stick. Do you guys like cheese sticks? You like the string mozzarella cheese sticks, or if they're fried? You like in, yeah, I like the fried cheese sticks. Yeah, yeah like, a, sauce. like a mozzarella so stick. Sticks. Yeah. For real. Oh, Jacob, this reminds me. You've been to Lucky's. Yeah, yeah, I have. I think that place was Jacob, good. Jacob put me on to Lucky's, Gannon. It's so good. No, someone else put me on to Lucky's. It was, but you uh, put me onto it, and then he put me onto who. it. Yeah, lucky. It was is somebody a spot from our school. I, I'm pretty sure. Like we all I think went it was there Monica. after. Yeah, I think so. Actually, we all went there like as a group, and we after like an event. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great place for sure. Mm-hmm. It was I wish I could go good. back. I could. Two and a half hour drive if I want it. Yeah, you're so much better off than me. If I could drive two and a half hours <laughs> to go to Lucky's, I would. I've been thinking about going to a uh, other world. What's that? Really? You lived in Dayton and didn't know what other world was? Gannon, do you Gannon, know what other do world you, is? Do you know what other world is? Uh, <laughs> no idea. Well, I feel like I've heard what? of it. What? What is it? Though? Really? Yeah, you didn't even it? hear about it from people for, at our school? No, I've never heard of it. Well, you got to look it up right now. It's it's like this interactive art museum, and you have to. You can't just walk in. I don't think. I think you have to buy tickets in advance because it's like limited to a certain amount of people per day since it's like a walkthrough experience. But it's like that. Um, there's a place like that in Colorado. I sent you a while ago. I can't remember what it was called. Yeah, it's like that. Yeah. Oh. Um, this shit looks through. dope. Oh, I've seen pictures of people going through this. Yeah. It's it's super ah. cool. People always talked about it, and I just never went. I really should have. It's in Columbus, though. I feel like it's worth it. If you take a day off, and you buy a ticket in advance, and you, like, at least for me, I drive up there. It's like three, four hours to Columbus. Get a hotel room, stay the night. Or you guys can just hop on a plane hop skip away uh come to good old denver and uh freeze we can just hang out be buddies i don't even want to know the price of a denver (laughs) ticket from lexington airport lexington's airport is so damn small like it takes five minutes to get through tsa would oh well yeah well that's pretty nice though i mean if you get a cheap ticket through lexington that's pretty nice but would you go like louisville is that like the bigger one Probably Cincinnati the, would be better. That's where yeah, I go. If it would come through, if it would come through Lexington, I would use Lexington. Yeah. But that's the thing is, it's like you can never get a direct flight to where you want to go out of Lexington. It's always like yeah. connecting flights, and it's two or three of them. Yeah. And like connecting flights can be tough, especially when they're so close. Like I almost missed one last time I flew. Oh, but dude. I always probably have go the out of Cincy. Layers. Yeah, since I usually I usually went Cincy or in Indianapolis. Mm-hmm. I always found better deals for Indianapolis, but I hate setting foot in Indiana. 
<laughs> Why? Throwback. Indiana it's sucks, joke. dude. Yeah, Indiana it's is not. Joke. Dude, the it's second not it's seriously place. the second you cross the state line from Ohio to Indiana, potholes. It's just like what is happening? What I think I've only this... ever driven through it. I don't think I've ever actually that's a lie. Okay, that's a lie. My aunt and uncle used to live in Evansville, Indiana, like right on the border of Kentucky and Indiana. And oh, it was well, actually a nice see, spot. You're still on the border though. See, yeah. I didn't really think Kentucky was gonna be all that until I drove down to see what was lexington all about lexington was fun dude lexington's a cool spot man for sure we got a lot going it's, on here it's like a very put together i think every like east coast town and city is so much better off than like the rocky mountain area the fucking central america you know really? whatever because yeah because well like the east coast stuff or just like midwest it was all developed in like the 17 blah blah blahs you know so it's it had time to kind of build character and stuff. Cause it, True. Where's that one place that we went? We went to, like, a pizza place that was, like, it used to be some industrial, like, firehouse or whatever. It's called the Distillery District. It was yeah, a distillery. It, yeah. It, it was it just, like, there was already establishment there. Mm-hmm. Went out of business, unfortunately. But they... <laughs> they... <laughs> They so. built around it, you know, and they yeah. made it into something new, and it has character at that point. You come to Denver, I've, I've, I've been saying this, Denver is like the city that has no character. Because it was just so late, and it's just so late in development. Illuminati Airport. Is it, it, is it more Illuminati hyped? Illuminati Airport, yeah. More hyped it's than very, it should it, be? It's very overhyped, I think, yeah. Denver. Because it's just like, the, the thing is it's not like walkable at all you go downtown it's maybe like 10 blocks but chase you can like yeah you can get weed there you can get weed in a lot of places now yeah the colorado was not special it was special in like 2012 <laughs> yeah that's but why you can get weed there you can get weed in ohio now sorry my cat's fucking walking across the really yeah it's like medical only huh. medical you can't get it recreational but yeah Did Miko fuck you up? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was watching Ganon. He's just, he's just like, oh shit, I'm looking at his phone. No, I was <laughs> just got a, a text. But, uh, yeah. Sorry. It was on my watch. No, you're good. You're good. I'll, uh, I'll cut it out. I was, I was just like, oh, look at him. <laughs> look at him go. <laughs> but, um, so you want to get into some of the topics? I sent Jacob a a couple, but uh, you wanted to talk about Kanye. <coughs> I feel like Gannon, Dude. you're probably well versed in it too. Yeah, it yeah. is crazy the things he's been saying. <laughs> I'm usually more of a holistic. I... <laughs> I'm I'm usually more of a holistic guy when it comes to medicine and like figuring things out with the human mind and body. But like, mm-hmm. dude needs medication. Yeah, he does. Did you not hear him on the Alex Jones podcast? Oh, I dude. He said they wouldn't let me on here without watching me take my medication. It was Skittles. <laughs> and bro, and then he pulled he, up the net. <laughs> oh my god. He started talking like Elmo. His Elmo voice is on point. <laughs> it was pretty good. Was Maybe that's good. the route he should start going. Yeah, just start doing well, I don't know if he would want him to do kids shows. I mean, that's not so scary. <laughs> no, I don't think he should do kids shows. I don't think he should be on any show. I think there needs to be a point where it's like he just needs to be taken off the net until he's he got banned from Twitter. He's been banned from Twitter like twenty times, but Elon Musk is just gonna roll over and get his I dick don't know. sucked. Elon was saying he wanted to punch him. Yeah, but, I mean, Elon Musk is like, oh, we're going to build an underground tunnel underneath L.A. And it just, you know, he built one tunnel. Yeah. We we don't like Elon Musk around here, so we're, um, or I mean, at least I don't. I think the thing that keeps getting me is everybody's like, yeah, Kanye said all this crazy stuff, but he made graduation. (laughs) 
<laughs> and I just don't feel that's a valid argument. I've, I've been seeing memes where it's like, dude, I can't believe Kendrick made graduation. <laughs> yeah. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, they just don't even want to tie graduation to Kanye anymore. Yeah. One of my friends Not going to lie, though. Graduation has, like, a couple songs on it that are okay. That I can listen to, you know. It's just, I was never really a big Kanye fan, to be honest. Graduation is like a 10 out of 10 album. I liked, uh, what's that one? What was the one where it was just like the CD album? Jesus. 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 Yeah. I liked that one more. That was like my favorite Kanye album. I'm not trying to Grad- stand Kanye or anything, but I, I, I don't get to hype over graduation. Clip it. Clip it. He said it. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to graduation over the summer a lot, and oh my God, it's like song for song, so good. Clip it. <laughs> clip, don't clip that clip clip it <laughs> what's well, going uh, on the internet but still like one of my friends posted today on instagram he was listening to kanye and i i messaged him i was like we don't support kanye anymore <laughs> and he said i don't support yay but i support kanye and he sent me a picture of like kanye Honestly? from like 2013 and then he sent me a picture of yay because he changed his name legally to just yay yeah so So. honestly that makes sense is that valid but well wait when did he change his name to yay because his last album donda wasn't that released as kanye i thought kanye west but didn't he change his name to yay i I feel like it was a i feel like it could have been a while ago because he did release an album just called yay but it also could be recent. I don't know. I just can't believe he w- he was like, I love Hitler. <laughs> he, he It was just so emphasized. And it was just like, even Alex Jones, if you don't know who Alex Jones is, he's this really right-wing racist conspiracy Pizza theorist. Gate. Pizza Gate. He thought the Sandy Hook shooting was fake. Yeah. And he... He, he's a crazy guy, but even when Kanye went on there and was like, Hitler's a great guy, even Alex Shum was was like, all right, we got to... We got to get him off of here. <laughs> we got to get him off. We, we cannot have this guy on. It's just so crazy how, like... I just can't believe he even, like, is going... He's going so, like... It's so out of the blue, you know? It is. It, like, none of this really came up. Until, like, when did it, like, spark? He just said, like, one day he was like, I'm going DEFCON 5 on Jewish <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah, like, wh- what provoked him? I don't know what provoked him. <laughs> he's, 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 trying, just... he's trying to say that Jewish people, like, control everything. Yeah, like the, but it's the just inner, like, that's inner just... workings of like everything. And he also said uh, Barack Obama was not the first uh, African American president, and that he was also I've... another he was another Jewish president. Well, that that part is obvious. I didn't hear He's... this one. Then it... I didn't hear that. Then yeah. he said... No, he said that. <laughs> I because wasn't I don't want to like give credit to Kanye or anything, but I've heard that Abe Lincoln was like mixed a little bit. Really. A little bit. Hmm. There, there's some conversation about that, or like maybe Tom, one of the, one of the very early ones. Yeah, Thomas was, Jefferson, like, like Thomas Jefferson, he impregnated. Yeah, yeah. Like that's what, there's like a joke video with Key and Peele. Yeah, it's a running joke on Key and Peele. Where <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like the her- heritage, <laughs> the, and it's like, oh, I got you know, all the way back to Thomas yeah. Jefferson, and they're all it's all like black people. It's it's amazing. Yeah. Speaking of. Abe Lincoln, how do y'all picture Abe Lincoln? Well, uh, like tall guy, beard, depressed, stressed out, nothing else, stressed no, out, no other features come to mind. Top hat, his beard, top hat, the top, top hat. So I saw something. I think it was on TikTok, and someone was like. Every time someone talks about Abe Lincoln or thinks about him, we always mention this big top hat. But there's, like, no pictures of him with a top hat. 
It's like a I've Mandela effect. Too, yeah. I don't think he ever had a top hat. I don't think so either, because every like official picture, presidential record picture. Well, I guess I mean it's probably not very like classy to wear a hat for like a presidential picture or a painting. But sure. yeah, I guess I guess I I think I did see the same video where they were talking about how Abe just was never known for wearing a top hat back in the yeah, day. Yeah, like if you see like a, a little kid dress up for like a something at school where they have to dress up as someone historical and they dress up as Abe Lincoln, they make a fucking top hat. What's your other favorite like Mandela effect? Favorite one, Fruit of the Loom. Fruit that's just so insane. Fruit of the Loom had the cornucopia yeah have you, you cannot researched tell it at me all? it did not no have i haven't any researched research? it so there was a painter and yeah i think he was out of tennessee and he did a painting you're the only 10 a... i see sorry <laughs> clip that <laughs> <laughs> Jay, Gannon's just like that was the worst thing. <laughs> like I can't I'm ashamed to be genuinely on this interested podcast. in what he's trying to say. <laughs> There's a painter and I I might not be getting this word for word or exactly right, but definitely do some research on it because I watched a ton yeah. of videos on this because I was stressed and hard I went and rummaged through all my clothes. I went back to my parents' house. I had a fruit of the loom shirt that I got like in daycare that we tie-dyed and i know she still had i went searching for this logo nowhere to be found no so yeah. i did a bunch of research on it and there was this painter and he did like these weird vintage paintings and he did one and it had a cornucopia in it and it was mm -hmm. part of the inspiration for the fruit of the loom logo and he remembers helping them design a fruit of the loom logo with a cornucopia in it yeah. His son even remembers it. Nowhere to be found. Yeah. I heard so the original, it... like, designer, too, was like, yep. I swear I made the cornucopia. Like, yeah. I swear I made that logo with the cornucopia. They recall and it in, like, not... brand guides. The brand guide's yeah. just empty of it. It doesn't make any sense. And I, I always remember it because I remember asking, I was like, what fruit is this? Because... The logo's yeah. all fruits and vegetables. Like, I was like, what fruit is this? And they were like, it's a cornucopia. It's like a very distinct, like, core memory with all of us, I feel like. Yeah. That, you it's... always saw that when you went to the store and stuff. You just saw Fruit Loom stuff, and it was just, it had the cornucopia. And it was just, yep. where'd it go? Dude, <laughs> South Park even referenced it. They had an yeah. episode, and I can't remember what happened, but they showed, like, a tag of some shirt, and it had the logo in it. And I don't know, the Mandela effect stuff really, really interests me because people say that it all started happening around the time in 2012 when everybody thought the world was going to end. And um, there's theories that's like maybe the world did end in a different timeline and we split into a new timeline and that's this one. And that's why there's these minor inconsistencies. I've this is the theory I've heard. Have you heard of like SARS? No. With the a disease, the the proton, the atom, yeah. like the atom, the pro, like the yeah, the proton collider or whatever. Oh, I thought that was a disease. I I know what theory you're going to say. Oh, about, like I SARS, like, this like COVID. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe it's something else. Is it still SARS? Mm -hmm. The the company that made it? yeah. That's got the six 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 in their logo. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> and it does. It, I just it's a thing. Does it? What? Yeah. Oh. If you look at their logo, it's. It's three sixes that intertwine. It looks like if you look at it real fast, it's like oh, it's like a cool little like spindle. But when you look at it closely, yeah. it's literally like three sixes intertwined with each other. It just gets deeper. It just gets deeper. <laughs> but I heard that in the first time they ever activated the particle collider was in mm -hmm. 2012, and that's yep. what shifted us into a different dimension. Because those particles should have collided and exploded and killed all of us. Yeah, for sure. But what happened was it just shifted our whole timeline. So, like, the yep. Mayans, the Mayan calendar, it could have just been predicting, like, oh, we just – human. Th this timeline in ends in 2012. Maybe we just kept living, but we are living out in a different parallel universe. 
And then they just did it again, like in 2020 or some shit. And then COVID happened. They can create a it black hole. After COVID. It can literally cl- create a black hole. And they yeah. just keep testing this That's thing. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, if it, a black hole is like the worst way to go out, right? I've, I've heard I actually know. some recently, like, people were saying that it's not like what. Okay, so there was a star that got sucked up into this hole. They they yeah. like they saw like on some like telescope a, a star yeah. being engulfed into a black hole, and then like I think it was like six months or so later, it shot the star back out. Yeah. Have you ever seen oh. Interstellar? Yeah, I've never seen it all the way through. Oh, I haven't seen. Yeah, I don't think I might have. I'm not sure. Is that with uh? I think McConaughey. I think that yeah. one. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I think I that's remember. coming to Netflix. I'm disappointed. Why? I know you made a pro. You had a whole project in college about it. I remember. It's you're like your my favorite movie. Sick. Yeah. Thanks, man. It's literally one of my favorite movies, if not my favorite. It's so good. And it's worth, I think it's like two and a half hours long. It's worth it. Watch yeah. it. It's like um, space. And I guess it's well, just now like I can't, a really good Now movie. I can't talk about what I was going to talk about because neither of you have finished it. So I'll, I'll, I'll I mean, watch it's been it. Out, it. You know. Once it hits the Netflix, I will definitely watch it and check it out. I mean, dude, I've watched nine hours of Batman. So I'll definitely check out Interstellar. Are you serious? Yeah. It, it's, I don't know. If I say too much, it'll spoil it. But it's all about space travel. And they're trying to go find another planet to colonize. Speaking of planets to colonize, did you guys see the new uh, James Webb Space Telescope pictures of the Saturn moon Titan? No. Was that How recent was that? It was just like last week. No, I didn't see those. So they took a picture. It's kind of grainy. It's kind of like low quality, but it's the best picture we have of Titan. And you can see an outer layer of like ozone. That and it and the and the planet itself looks very green and blue and lush. Are there it, hundred meter tall Titans walking around it? Hope hopefully not, but. <laughs> The rumbling it, happening over there? I, I, I. No, don't. You can't say that. Ganon hasn't fucking watched Attack on Titan. <clears throat> oh, really? <laughs> I mean, you can. <laughs> you can talk about it. Ganon, what are you doing with your life, man? W- watching anything Interstellar but Attack, and on, Attack Titan. on Titan? I just, that's one I just can't get into, dude. I've tried. You need to try again. You well, the final part's coming out. And I know, and there's going to be spoilers winter, that, everywhere, and you're going to yeah. see them, and you're going to be like, oh, shit. And then you're going to have to sit through 80 episodes of this without even getting to it yet. And it's, it's worth it. It's good, dude. Like, it's really I was, good. I've been trying to get him on it for – it's been a running joke. He just refuses to watch it. He won't watch Cyberpunk either. Have you watched Cyberpunk, Jacob? No, I don't I, I don't know. The game was mid. I feel like the anime is probably mid. <laughs> He loves Cyberpunk, man. That was a low jab to this guy. The game and the, the, ga- <laughs> the both of them he likes. The game literally was in development for how fucking long? How long? Forever. Forever. It was, and it came yeah, out forever. and it did shit. It did nothing. It was awful. But That's all I heard I, about it. I We gave up on it. Me and Ganon were both super hyped for the game. Came out, we played it, we were kind of hyping it up. It was like, oh yeah, you know, it's kind of good. The bugs just killed it. So we gave up. We gave up yeah. at launch. But since launch, if you have a next-gen console, I would highly recommend playing it again because they have made so many good <laughs> updates to it. I'm still it's on the PS4. It's really good. I've, I'm on and my I'm not going to get a PS5 to play that shitty game. <laughs> get a Xbox Series S. They're only fuck 200 bucks no. now. Fuck no. Why? <laughs> because fuck Xbox, bro. Day one. Since day one. <laughs> Since day one, bro, I've been on Team Xbox. Um, I'm just kidding. I had a games, PS4 for a while. Yeah, PS4 yeah. better. It's not. It is. Xbox is better. Okay, yeah. Xbox had batteries for, what, 20 years? They still you do. You had to use but batteries for forever. You still do? 
Yeah, they still have. Batteries. You still don't have rechargeable controllers. Oh no! No, you, you gotta buy. It. You gotta buy them you, separately. You gotta buy a rechargeable thing, but it's fine because they're only like twenty bucks. Or Mine's super you buy cool. a controller that already has it built in it. Every one of the controllers has that. I mean, you know, hopefully eventually <laughs> Xbox ups their controller game because they kept the same design as last year too, which they're is just kind of doing the me, Apple but. thing, bro. They're doing the Apple thing where you have to buy something else just to use the product. Damn, both when both, American, like, I'm, both I'm, American I'm, companies too. No, so for real, I got a, a Samsung Japanese, phone too. No, I'm my phone Microsoft. has a port that works with oh, everything. Yeah. I didn't have to buy a charger block to charge my phone. <laughs> I don't have to buy a dongle to listen to music. <laughs> that dongle be dongle though. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, that's why you get the AirPods, you know. Just oh you know. yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me spend a hundred dollars for some headphones next. I didn't buy them; it was a gift. Oh, that's fair. That makes it okay. Yeah. Uh, but. I could never do Android. I I just love the UX UI with Apple. Sorry. I mean, hey, I you know, just it, it's it's so nice. Look at this shit. I can see the fucking earth. Oh, hold on. Hold on. There were, there are were messages. Let me Oh shit. Oh. Look at that. I that's where I am right now on the earth. Bro, what's the thing? Mine has a light on. Yeah, well, are you recording me right now? <laughs> Turn you can't see mine well, but no, check this uh, out though. Uh, why am I getting Who a phone call right when I showed it to you? It's Gojo. Gojo. From Jujutsu Kaisen. What is that? It's, mine is the uh, anime. Denji from Chain Chainsaw Man. Oh, Chainsaw! You like Chainsaw Man? Oh yeah, I've read up to like ninety-five in the manga, bro. It's the craziest thing I've ever read in my life. It is so. I've I finished it. I'm just catching up on the new chapters now. Like I'm waiting for the new chapters, but it is such a good anime. Ganon, if you watch any anime or read any manga, Chainsaw, Chainsaw Man. Man. Yep. Chainsaw. Do it before wondering... Attack on Titan. Honestly, like it's better. I was wanting yeah, to read uh, Berserk. Yes, I've been wanting to read that too. It I looks... don't want to read it until I get like the actual like collector's edition hard copy ones. Yes, that's what I, you can buy them one by one off Amazon. Yeah, but they're I, they're I, like forty bucks each. That's also true. <laughs> they look. Yeah, so I'm really nice, interested though. in it. I'm really interested in it because of Dark Souls. I love that game yeah. franchise, and it's heavily, heavily influenced off Berserk. You play the Elden Ring? Yeah, I didn't beat it though. I haven't beat it either. I got super I'm, close. I got to the mountain top, and I just haven't beat it. No, nah, I didn't even get that far, bro. I haven't beat it either. I got to, like, the Golden City, and I <laughs> could not get much farther. Dude, the fucking Golden City was so hard. I was just, I was, like, scared to walk an inch in that city. I haven't even gone inside. I got there, and I was like, okay. Oh. Yeah. It's hard. <laughs> Because yeah. there's like nine different fucking bosses that you have to fight to just to get into the place. Wait, is it the capital? Is it the Golden City? Yeah, the capital. Yeah. I got there. <laughs> got through it. I got through it. <laughs> I I like beat uh, the guy at the round table place. And then they were like, oh, to light the accord on fire, you have to travel to the snowy hilltops and light the fire from the fucking gabagool and i did that and then i got to the fire and then i was just like i don't want to go back i kept trying to kill radon out in the desert the big dude with the tiny horse yeah, yeah i couldn't kill him i beat him so easily actually <laughs> i really dude i think i just fucked my character up from the beginning i i had to restart my character like six times to find yeah, like, I a play with, style i liked i stayed with one character and i fucked up by keeping the like a uh, one good weapon i found and upgrading it and then figuring out oh it's a really really shitty weapon and i could yeah. be doing a lot more but now i don't have any of the the stones i need to upgrade it yeah so i hate how they kept patching the weapons they were just because yeah. i would i would get a good weapon it wasn't even like meta shit i was just i got it and i was like oh i really like this weapon find out like next the next day it's fucking patched 
it, they nerfed it to shit. And I'm just like, now this is barely doing anything. And I want, I don't even want to play it anymore. I want my money back. I don't want my money back. It's a really good game. Do you think it should make game of the year? I really I could enjoyed agree it. With it. I could agree with it. It is a solid game. Even though I haven't beaten it, it's an amazing game. It had like the feeling of Skyrim almost, you know, mm-hmm. so open world. You can do whatever you want. It's your character. It's your game. And it reminds yeah, me of like a souped up right. RuneScape. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Have amazing. y'all played uh, Overwatch lately? Oh, yeah. We were into it, but. I was playing it last night. Oh, Dude, we're, yeah. Love yeah. Overwatch. Dude, new character drops tomorrow and Battle, Sat, pa- Battle Pass Season 2 that I'm not going to buy. Yeah. I'm he looks gonna... sweet. The new character, he looks OP. Dude, he is OP. He's like a mix of seven <laughs> characters. Dude. I saw the meme. There was like a video meme about him. And mm-hmm. it was like showing like each of like, you know that like slam noise like when something's like dramatic on like a TikTok video? And it, the vine it would, like, boom. So it would, it would show one of the abilities, and then it skipped to the other person, like, the abilities from, and it'd be like, <laughs> and then they, yeah. they have, like, a worried look on their face, and then it'd switch back to him. It was amazing. He looked, he looked sweet. I liked his, like, the character his design. His design looks, he looks, yeah. It, yeah. He looks he looks dirty, badass. man. He looks sweet. And the new skins they're dropping look really, really good, too. I think they did a good job. One of my biggest gripes with the games is that i one of my biggest gripes with like apex i hated having to pick a character that i liked their play style a lot but i hated how they looked you know yeah that's fair i only played that's apex how I, for season one so that's I how it is for overwatch it, with me too i just like can't get i don't like any of the characters designs that i like, enjoy playing what? with i Which no i love did Hanzo's, you enjoy? i love hanzo's design i just hate his play style it's oh just, bro i think you're that's just my main I, I think you just have to you have to get good chase yeah uh, just well, get good, I, chase. I know that but i don't have 90 <laughs> hours to kill in a week to <laughs> get good at fucking aiming that's why i like what? zarya I think that's her. Okay, name, right? all right. I'm I'm about done with this conversation with you. Uh, who else did you play? Uh, Orissa. Okay, yeah, I'm about done with this conversation with you. <laughs> I like. What do you mean? You're playing the hardest to kill, easiest to play characters. Who? who Zarya. Who, who think- literally, they had to patch her because she was so broken. You could be losing a game, and then your tank switches to Zarya, and you win. That's how it. That's how it worked. Maybe that's why I liked it, because <laughs> I was yeah. just fucking... <laughs> what do you think about Hanzo, Mace? Um, uh, do you play on controller, or do you play with a mouse? Controller. I dig it. I'm with it. Thank you. You got some skill. Appreciate okay, it. So as long as you're hitting 20, your shots. I went 27-5 one game, and I about shit myself. Yeah, as long as you're hitting your shots, it's good with me, man. Appreciate. Sometimes it. I play you. Hanzo just I to also, troll because I'm I'm not I also, good with them. I also play a Zenyatta. Okay, that's fair. I like it. Okay, Zenyatta's cool. Yeah, I haven't I haven't played in a minute. I've been just I've been just kind of doing the doing the husband thing. Games. I play the yeah. rat, bro. I'd be playing junk rat, and I go junk rat. crazy with them. Junk rat. I, I like the, doesn't take a lot. Yeah, Hog? fuck Roadhog. God, no, bro, Roadhog. Hog is one of my main... I have a golden gun for Hog. That's how much I like Hog. <laughs> I just always get snuck up on by him, and then he fucking <laughs> kills my ass, bro, every time. Yep. He's just... He's so hard to kill. Like, it, yep. it doesn't even matter. I will get him at, like, no health, and then he'll fucking eat his little goddamn sandwich or whatever, <laughs> and he has full health again somehow. I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with that? You don't. You I know lose. that's so annoying, but see, you're you're defending that broken character, and you won't you won't give Zarya a chance or Arissa a chance. Nah, Zarya harder to kill, in my opinion, for real. Not anymore. They because she'll her, bubble. No, they barely fixed her. She's not as good, but she's still really good. So, are you still playing Overwatch again? Mm-hmm. 
You still like down with the thirties, or are you like Warzone more? Um, I've been honestly like I like Warzone, but they need to fix some things. Like it takes um, it they need to fix like how long it takes to get to a game. It takes like a good solid ten minutes between games because they send you back to like the loading screen, and then oh, you geez. gotta wait for it to load back up. Yeah. That's what kills it. If it would do continuous, unfortunately, I'm going to compare it to Fortnite. If it would be like, oh, you lost this game, you can hit start next game, boom, go into it. That would be Fortnite's ideal. like instant. Yeah. It's like you constantly have another game you can play. Did you, guys see, the, did yeah. you see Fortnite huh? update? Yeah, that's yeah. what I was about to say. It actually they, looks they good. Added, uh, they added Deku. For my hero, it's running added- on Unreal Engine Five. It looks fucking good. The map looks solid. They got all these anime characters. I think the battle pass is Bro. like a lot of anime they- characters, or just like customized anime characters. That's what I want. I don't want. They these, added like- Mr. Beast. They added. You can be Mr. Jimmy. <laughs> what does he got to do? <laughs> what does he have to do with? And any- what does he have to do with Fortnite? Money. <laughs> yeah i mean they both make a lot of money off of small children damn exploitation mr beast if you're listening send us a grand we'll we'll drop i'm it. gonna give we'll- every person in this podcast a hundred thousand dollars if they never say my name again <laughs> no i hope he does i hope he makes a video <laughs> Today, guys, we're going to be watching All My Haters. It's literally just this podcast the entire time. <laughs> Have y'all ever seen uh, Cold Ones? No. Gannon, you know Cold Ones? Yeah, it's... Uh, I think I do. I think I've seen it. It's I've just heard these of two... Hot Ones. So, it's these two Australian guys, and they have a YouTube account. It's called Cold Ones. And at first, it was a lot of, like, podcasting, but then they started transitioning into more other content. Like, one of their recent videos was, like, they spent uh, (laughs) tons of money just buying random products off of Wish. And you know how Wish works. You don't get the product for, like, three months. And the whole time they do anything, they're drinking. So by the time the in, at the end of the video, they're drunk. They don't even remember what they ordered. And they get it three months later. They really have no idea what they ordered. And they're just really funny. Um, but they did a video and... Did they fuck. exploit some kids? No. Oh, it was about Twitch streamers. <laughs> they would go on to Twitch and they would find streamers that had like almost no viewers. And they would just start donating to pay them to do things. And it was so funny. Um, you have to <laughs> check them for out. me. <laughs> you have Dang. to check them out. Pretty much, yeah. Like, they had one guy, like, crack an egg and pour soy sauce all over himself. And they had one guy eat a bunch of butter. I don't How much know. money are we talking? weird, but they were donating, like, <laughs> Again, again it's like, like, oh, shit, hold Like, up. 100 like... to $200 at, at a time. $200? Wow. A hundred to two hundred a time, and okay. they would do it like six or seven times if they really wanted to get the person. Um, well, one of their better videos was they, <laughs> they of course they got drunk and they go they got on Fiverr and they <laughs> they made like the most ridiculous T shirt request that they could, and <laughs> they would get them like three months later, and they did that like are, two or three times. Are they the same people that I think I've seen these people have? Are they the same people that go to Fiverr and they ask for like musicians to make a verse with whatever they say, and it's just the most like aggressively like just raunchy problematic stuff? Yeah, and it's just I think they did and, a video was that yeah I think yeah. they did that too. They were like kids. They were like little uh, like not kids, but like they were young. I'm, when uh, I think of two Australian guys, I'm thinking of brawly, thick beard guys for some reason. I don't know. That's just where my mind goes when I think of. No one. Australia. One of the guys, his like internet name is Max Mofo, and the other one is uh, Anything for Views. And they're, I don't know. You should just check them out. Their videos are pretty damn funny. 
Hey, shout out. Hey, shout out for shout out. You know, if they shout us out, we'll shout them out. You know, oh, they also I, have a sick clothing brand. Their clothing all right, brand is. This fire, motherfucker dude. got paid I'm by like, these guys. Are you kidding <laughs> Oh, I wish. Hey, man, I fucking wish, them. dude. I They're wish also I had running for shirts. Congress. They're, so if you want to guys yeah, to check that real. out, maybe support in any way. <laughs> um, I just really believe in these guys. I don't know what it is. Uh, <laughs> they, um. Yeah, check them out for sure. They're funny. Yeah, they told me they let my family go if I shout them out on a podcast. You know, yeah, they told I, they're me they're really cool guys. <laughs> they told me they'd give me twenty dollars and a cheese stick if I shout them out <laughs> hey, on your podcast. That's how you get it. That's how you get it. <laughs> that's a ticket. Yep. It's gonna be the episode name. I think twenty dollars and a cheese stick. <laughs> <laughs> the, what was the last one? It was the beacon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, beacon. that's right. We That's just brought right. up that story again on, like, yeah. uh, we had two of our other friends on. I had to run through that oh, story yeah? again. That was a good one. That's Man, so Gannon. That was, <laughs> that was probably, it just, it ca- I'm not going to, I'm not going to say it again. We can't. We've run, we've run <laughs> this story dry. At this time, I feel like our audience could picture Gannon's dick just by closing their eyes you know it's just it's hey you'll see it soon on the hub <laughs> hey yeah let's hope dude hundred, hundred i mean million dollars p hub i mean we're we're down to get down <laughs> we're down the clown i can put my kids through school man i don't even have kids <laughs> put my, for real i can put kids myself through school <laughs> i'm gonna blow it all on cheese sticks yeah and twenty dollar bills. <laughs> so Jacob, you you uh, were telling me about this One Piece card game. What's that yeah. all about? It is dope, dude. Uh, right now, it it just came out Friday, officially. They did a pre-release like five months ago, I think. I didn't know about it or hear about it back then, but it's been around in Japan for a while. And um, it's super sick, man. I'm watching One Piece right now. I've never watched it. I'm like 180 episodes in. It's mid at best so far, but Oof. I've heard that it gets a lot There's better. There's some people that have been on this podcast that would die for that show. See, that's what I'm saying. Is I see, I, I've heard that it gets a lot better, and there's just like the, the first couple, like first 200 episodes yeah. apparently are just like, eh. Like, right now, the point I'm at right now seems pretty good, but... Um, I got like, to episode 88, and I just felt like nothing was happening. I was just Exactly. Like, it's a very what? slow-paced show, and um, people say that there's a lot more action. There's, like, a two-year time skip that happens, and it gets a lot better after that, and... I um, hope so. I'm watching it so that I know who the characters are on the cards, because, like, yeah. half the people that I've seen so far, I don't even know who they are. But um, it's super cool. Uh, last time I was on here, I told you all about Yu-Gi-Oh! And that game has just kind of gone down the toilet lately. Yeah. Um, You're no can... longer Yu-Gi-Oh! Master? No. I'm not. Oh, shit. I still have everything, but, like, I just haven't wanted to play lately because the the game is at a point where it's not fun. There's, like, one deck that's just overpowering everything. And I had it. But it wasn't enjoyable to play. And yeah. um, if you're forced to sucks. play a certain way, it's just not fun. Well, exactly. And it was pretty much play that deck or lose. Yeah. Are the rules in um, this One Piece game, are they pretty original? Or is there another card game you could probably like compare it to? A lot of people say it's a lot like Hearthstone. Okay. That's like um, a World of Warcraft like card game, right? Or no? I think so. Yeah. And a lot of people have also compared it to um, Magic. It's got this... It's it's a resource-based game. So you have basically, like, mana that you get every turn. And you have okay. to use it wisely. Whereas in Yu-Gi-Oh! There's no resources. Mm-hmm. And you can kind of do whatever the fuck you want if you have the ability to. In this game, you're limited. Like, I went and played in a tournament last night. And... I got second. I got. I did pretty well. Uh, Let's go. Wait for the. I would have gotten first. Yeah. They're already doing tournaments and stuff out here. 
Dude, the product all in every store that had product in Lexington is sold out. Jesus Christ. And that's in Kentucky. Yeah, it is it's popular, dude. It is popular. Damn. And like even online you, listings are going away. Like you can't it, it's very hard to find it. I wonder if Trey would What's play. that one What'd you say? I wonder if Trey would play it. Cuz he loves Maybe one we piece. should do like a Look, maybe we should bo- we should all go out and buy some packs and we just do a happy hour like on so, Zoom or like, something. Dude, the best way to get started is just to get some starter decks and um, yeah. if you can find them at a local store, they should be like 12 to $15, which is a good price, but I've seen and heard some store selling them for 25 because they're trying to make a big profit when <laughs> Yeah. That's not what they're supposed to be doing. And same with like the booster boxes. They should be about a hundred bucks. They're trying to sell them for like 150. Jesus. And that's steep. Like I don't want to pay that much for a booster box. And yeah, for sure. Like I bought two decks, put them together, and uh last night it was structure deck only. So people that did go buy all the product, they can't just come and win instantly. And yeah. uh I did so well because I was playing like a, a deck that controls the game and limits what my opponent can do uh i stopped them from attacking a lot and um i only lost because i got sacked the guy drew the exact card he needed to beat me Mm. i was literally about to beat him and he draws the exact card he had no cards in his hand he did this two games in a row the exact same card (laughs) exact card he needed to win you think he's low he low-key cheated I don't think so. He plays four copies of it, and I, that was the first time I saw it that game. So mm. how convenient so he, he it yeah, was so very he convenient. It was very convenient. It would have been <laughs> nice like, to go oh, to the where'd first. Where did this come from? Out of my sleeve. That was so weird. Must have. I mean, I have no other cards. It would have been very nice to go to the first tournament and just win all out first time. But then, wouldn't that kind of feel like, oh shit, like I've I, I'm limit. good, but. But, yeah, I mean, like, that's my peak. Or maybe the game isn't as, like, intense or as, like, strategy-based as what you think. It's like, oh, I kind of, like, know mm-hmm. how to play it through, and this is probably, like, the the peak the game itself will get. No, because, we, like I said, we were only allowed to play with the cards that came in structured decks. Okay. And there's, like, I think there's, like, 100 cards or more that are in packs that you can buy. And those really let you change what you do with your deck and stuff it allows you to play like there's four structure decks there's like i want to say probably 20 of the leader cards that you need in the packs that you can make different decks with so it can really change the game and it really will i think um i think the next time i go i'm gonna get sacked really hard because they're gonna allow (laughs) packs and all these other guys like most of the other people that were there have been practicing and playing for like six months. They know what they're doing. And Jesus. I got the shit Friday. Like I was just, I don't know. I had good matchups or I had really good hands. I don't fucking know. Maybe because you're the goat. Uh, I, yeah, probably. I'd like to think so. And you were a thing about this master. Game. So that's the other thing about this game is they do cash prizes. Like, at bigger tournaments, they do cash prizes. Yu-Gi-Oh! never does that. You get product. Like, if you go win a huge Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament right now, you walk away with a trophy, a card, a mat, a Nintendo Switch, and a copy of a game. A Nintendo Which, Switch? You can go sell all that stuff. A Nintendo what, Switch, yeah. You, wait, what kind of cash prizes are you stuff. talking, man? That's like, a, that's like a $250, $300 game console. Right, but I, I don't know. I don't know how big the cash prizes are, but you, Magic, like... People made a living playing Magic professionally oh, yeah. off of I cash know. prizes. And if who is if isn't there like a famous actor that did Magic like competing? One uh, Post Malone was just did him? Magic. He did a tournament. He did. Oh yeah, uh, I saw Post like Malone a competition. Did he was yeah. like, if you beat me playing Magic, I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars or something like Jesus. that. Jesus, Mr. Beast status. I think uh, Henry Post Cavill Malone's also status. does. <laughs> who I think Henry, yeah. Ca- Post- Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill. You never heard of Superman? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's like a huge nerd. Witcher. He's also does The Witcher. Yeah. You watch The Witcher? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. He's, yeah. he's about to end The Witcher, though. But Yeah, that's <laughs> sad. Big sad. Uh, anyway, the game's super cool. It's super fun. It's very player-friendly. And um, 
it took us like three games just playing at home to to have it pretty figured out. There was a couple things I learned last night from other players, but um, yeah, it's super super simple. Uh, I think watching videos will help more than just buying the starter decks and reading the instructions because those can be a little confusing. Yeah, but super friendly, player wise. I mean, hey, I'm down to go buy a little starter deck and we can we can do a little happy hour like on on yeah, this man. and we can we can record it put it on the page Rion I don't know why I tried to short it Rion <laughs> <laughs> That'd be super forge We can That'd be super sport. That'd be soups <laughs> <laughs> Or we can just put it out for free and just be like hey you know, free content there you guys go put it on the YouTubes and or hear me out or naked one piece on the hub i'm all for it dude. <laughs> let's do it bring the cheese sticks i have a card hidden in my gooch <laughs> for real bro <laughs> and for my next card pot of greed yeah <laughs> i wish i got a greedy pot right here you know all right put it in the old no, jail no. wallet <laughs> the jail wallet. <laughs> Damn, did that beat out the episode name? <laughs> jail wallet. <laughs> I've never heard that term before. I've never heard it either, but that's good. You guys have never seen Get Hard? No, I've heard like meat wallet referring no. to like a woman, but I've never heard the jail wallet. <laughs> uh, well, there you go. There you go. Hey, you learn something new every day. I hope this is one thing, the one thing that you got to take home today. What's the best um, dick term, like other name for a dick that you guys uh, got? What I, got the, I got the best one. What is Pork it? Pork sword. No, that's the one I was going to say. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I think I'll go with schlong. I think that's a pretty good one. It's pretty classic. Uh, it's a classic. It's a classic. Oh, one. no. Well, hog. Chase wanted to steal my hog. thunder. Hog. Huh? Hog. Damn, you're stealing my thunder again. Sorry, Workaholics, bro. they called it. Workaholics, they yes. always called it the lap hog. <laughs> Workaholic. My lap hog. <laughs> the Workaholics is top All right, tier. Jake. Oh, Jacob, top what's, tier. what's yours? It was pork sword, and then it was lap hog. <laughs> So I don't fucking know now. I feel um, cheated. <laughs> I like Tallywhacker too. Jerry Curl. That's a little Sorry. British, ain't it? Jerry Curl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think you were on something. Schlong is pretty good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Chub. Meat stick. I like that. My meat stick. Is is chub more of an adjective or a verb? I think so. It's chubbed. Yeah. Yeah, Ch- chubbed up. <laughs> we need Webster on this bad boy. We need we need clarification. <laughs> the, it's the brick, bro. It's, <laughs> shit, <laughs> bricked up. We we uh me and Jacob. Speaking of card games, we were in the middle of making what would have been me me Jacob and Shiloh. Don't want to leave her out because she definitely yeah. participated a lot in it. Uh, we were in the middle of making one of the probably one of the greatest car games to ever exist. For sure, got, it would have cash prizes and cash player prizes. friendly. <laughs> Get sloppy drunk. Hashtag. Um, Why hashtag? Not hashtag. I don't. Sorry, this is 2012. <laughs> I'm. I'm just. But we we were so confident that this game was going to be so good. Jacob doing his due diligence stumbled upon a game that was quite literally the exact same thing that we were making. Yeah. We were like, damn, how has no one ever thought of this? And it was like, <laughs> we should do some research into some other products. And I was doing it and I was like, Oh damn. man, <laughs> how long were, so we, wor- were we working on it too? Like a couple months. It was like one or two months for sure, and but we we did do some like research before we were doing we we were going to stores like you were looking up card games and stuff, and it just we couldn't find anything. So we were so that's what kind of motivated us more to keep working on it and really flesh it out. 
and then one night Jacob was doing more research and he was he, yeah sh just shot in the dark ruined our hopes but we could be making a comeback I, I've been trying to brainstorm some new ideas but I was thinking I, lately and yeah. um, I wasn't thinking super hard about it but you know what is it, really fun I've been doing with my niece a lot we've been playing like little car like kids board games and stuff yeah those if we integrated like some little toys or some kind of thing that came with it to make it more interesting, I think that could help make I'm, it I'm, more unique. I'm open um, to the possibility. The whole idea of what we were making was it was a drinking game essentially, but mm -hmm. we kind of we were starting to go away from it. But the idea of a drinking game is that you want it to be super simplistic. Yeah. So you watch always. We Sunny? didn't want to add any. Yes. Do you, remember, do you remember the one with the game they came up with, which was just terrible? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Charlie McDennis. Yeah, Charlie McDennis, dude. Terrible. <laughs> Sorry, that's what it reminded me of. They would get, like... That's a good, that's they, a good episode. They would get so drunk, and then and they had to do all these god-awful challenges. <laughs> <laughs> that's essentially what we were trying to do. We were trying to... It was like, what was some of them? It was like... You pull a card and you had to take like three shots or something. It was just like Jeez, brutal please. stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I was playing a game and it was called Stacktopus. And okay. have you guys ever heard of this? No. So it comes with these little tentacles that you put on your fingers, right? And you have a bunch of cups in front of you. And you set them all like face up and they're different colored and you flip a card over and it has an arrangement of the cups. They could be stacked. They could be like dropped into each other. They could be like face down arranged in a certain way, but you could only move them with the hand and tentacles. You couldn't use like your regular fingers. And it had me thinking like something to make the game almost harder the more drunk you get. I think could be really interesting because like I was struggling because the tentacles wouldn't stay on my fingers. They were too, too small and it was already hard enough, but I don't know. I think something like that could make it interesting. I, I'm, I'm down. We can even go away from the whole drinking thing, but uh, we kind of were talking about also um, having that drinking game kind of like a stepping stone like a foundation for card games in the future. And we were talking about, cause you got really into that other card game. What was it called? Like zoo something. Meta zoo. Yeah. yeah. And I and was thinking a like, stuff. yeah, why don't we do like a, like a really intense strategy card game? Like how one piece is doing it. We we're fucking both designers. Ganon right here is a writer. He can yeah. concept some stuff. I, 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 I think that'd spiel. be spiel about MetaZoo right now, but I think I'm going to hold off. Hey, Patreon. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, I know, what, does that intrigue you? Does that tickle your pickle any? Pickle is also a one. It could be really cool. One, so. Um, <laughs> throw it back. I don't know. <laughs> I think the thing about, like, trading card games and stuff is yeah. having a game that feels different from others. Yeah. And like a different mechanic or something. All of them are gonna have some kind of fucking monster or like creature Bakugan. or something, right? It, yeah, exactly. Like Bakugan, that was super fucking unique, dude. You had these that little balls awesome. that you rolled, and they they popped up because of a fucking magnet, and that was super cool. But like, I I collected those. They were my favorite. Like, there's Yu-Gi-Oh content creators on YouTube, right? And yeah. I was staying up to date with them pretty regularly, but recently I've fallen off and. Right before I stopped playing a lot, they were promoting this new game that someone was making. And um, he was a content creator, and he was super into like a bunch of card games like Pokemon and Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh! And he was like, fuck it, I'm going to make my own game. And they were promoting this game. It's called Alestrals. And the mechanic of it is like super interesting. It's another like resource-based game, so you have... like mana essentially i think they called it spirit energy yeah so you needed to use it to play your cards but it was also your life points oof 
So you had like 20 of them, and if you ran out, you lost. So you couldn't just go crazy with your monsters and cards and whatever. Yep. But the problem like I had with the game was the actual design and look of it. It looked bad, man. Like, it looked bad. Like, some people were shitting on MetaZoo. They were like, oh, this looks goofy. This looks like a kid's coloring book. And I'm like, I mean, those are professional artists. They're sitting there making yeah. their – they're doing it. And I think it looks cool. I think it looks and good. You, you somewhat have to cater to, like, a younger audience too. Because, to, I mean, it's right. a card game at the end of the day. I mean – Right. But this one, like, I don't know, man. Like, I don't know who they got to do the art on these. But, like, I mean, they obviously know what they're doing. Like, they have knowledge of the programs they're using. And maybe they just had bad direction and bad, yeah. like, art directors or whatever. But, like, I'll send you some pictures of them. I don't think they looked good at all. Just in the moment that we were sitting here talking about card games, I just came up with... Uh, an amazing idea. I'll tell you guys about it after this because I don't want to put it out there. Um, but if you guys are down, if you guys are down, I mean, hold up, <laughs> hold up. Because I've been, I've been really thinking about like w- making a like video game too. Like I've, I've said it on the podcast before. I just don't have a fucking PC and I can't like download any of that stuff so i'm trying to get like an ipad to do like concept art for it but i literally have i literally have an entire story for this video game fleshed out essentially i have how i want the combat to run i have like customization and all that shit kind of figured out and the setting and the you know it's just like and i and this is kind of going to be like a branch off like the card game this is just how i'm thinking of it and I think it could be really cool, like a very strategic card game. But um, I'll let you guys know in a sec. But y'all are really um, gonna think that I'm getting paid to do promotions and stuff. But for your iPad, check out Back Market. That's where I got mine. I got it super cheap. Is it Back Market or Black Market? Back Market. <laughs> oh, I I, no, I I swear it's Black Market because I it's Back I, Market, bro. bro black I, I typed in. Don't you, search you try black to find market. a Black. Yeah, black I wouldn't do market. that. I wouldn't search black market iPad. You'll you'll get something sent to your house that you don't want. Yeah, like an organ, like someone's like kidney. Yeah, All right, and, and an M four podcast. <laughs> yeah, Jacob Jacob put me on to this. It's like they refurbish electronic electronic devices. Electronical. What the fuck is wrong with me? Electronic <laughs> devices, and it, they're just like cheaper. But it's, like, pretty good quality, wouldn't you say, Jacob? Yeah, dude. I got my iPad, and I think I got it in the very good condition. It wasn't, like, yeah. the the perfect condition or whatever. So it's got, like, yeah. a scratch on it or something, but it's minor. Once I put a screen protector on it, it's invisible. Do they have, a, um, do they have Nintendo Switches? Yeah, they have they consoles. I, I looked it up. They, they have, like, everything, honestly. Yeah. People get their phones from there and stuff. It's... um. It was worth it, dude. Here, I I'll look I got up my iPad. I got Nintendo the biggest Switch. I'm iPad. How how much are like Nintendo Switches starting out? Depending on which one, but usually like three hundred to something. There's really? one that's two seventy seven right 250. now. You can get just the screen, the HDD for 200 bucks you can just buy joy cons for it i bet like back back market whatever type beat type beat type beat 20 dollars in a cheese stick type beat <laughs> 20 dollars in a cheese stick that's all that's all they're asking for this shit <laughs> <laughs> drop a bar hey gannon uh where when's your fucking album coming out uh you know. You were talking with the, the producer, right? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, I gotta sit down with him again and get like my FL set up with his format and everything. I was li- I was listening to your album, Jacob in the Gym, the other day. How? I removed it from all streaming platforms. Did you fucking really? I did. No. I was that? literally was uh-huh. just listening to it. Unless you were on like SoundCloud, I think that's the only spot it's on left. 
It should no be way. removed from why'd everything. You, why'd you do that? Hold on, I gotta text someone. Lotus. I swear, like, Flying Lotus came on my, my shit. Oh, it's fine. It's, you know, whatever. Hopefully some stranger doesn't walk into your door and kill you. Yeah. That would be pretty bad. That'd be terrible. Until would I pull be out not, the... Would not be cash money. Until I pull out the... Knife. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know where that was going at first, but I'm like... I, I I thought this was gonna have to be on Pornhub, dude. I was like, <laughs> I was, bro. They don't want me after I pull out my pork sword. Damn. That I, you might get an offer from Hollywood if you whip that shit out. You know, I know Gannon. Don't get me could. started. <laughs> they'll call him the Beacon, bro. Like straight straight up, the Beacon. <laughs> be a household name. Dude, you, the, next be the next Sims, Johnny Sims, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Would you... Okay, like, low-key, because, like, male porn actors don't get their face shown in their work. Would you... Would you... If you got per, approached for a bag, would you do it? How big of a bag? Uh, first, first video, you can just kind of gauge it going forward but first video fifty thousand uh they like definitely a, they don't like, make that much but i i don't know man I, no I a scout like... a scout came up to you and was like dude you're hog i mean <laughs> fifty thousand one video i probably wouldn't okay because you have to think about it like i mean i, I don't know it depends on how it is like if it's professional like like fucking bang bros it's like a, that's like a movie set like oh yeah you know you, you got you like don't wanna... 12 people fucking watching you and and a big light and a camera on your asshole watching your balls flap around <laughs> i i think i'll pass honestly <laughs> well yeah i don't think i would do it either tbh Gan, you're awfully quiet. Gan's doing research. He's like, yeah, he's mm -hmm. doing research. Hold up, like, who who do I need to contact about my um, beacon? <laughs> I don't think I would. I can't live with that on my conscience. I just know me. Yeah, that's the other thing. I can, I like, like if someone finds I, that too, and they're like, holy shit. Yeah. Um. You know, one day, somebody, you know, like I have a family. I always think about that. Yeah. Next thing you know, my one of my sons is like going through. It's like, wow. Yeah. That one looks a lot like mine. Hang on a second. <laughs> Hang on a second. Yeah, is that the... I got a beacon. Yeah, he's got I a got beacon. a beacon. They call him Spotlight. <laughs> they call him Spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> we have, like, so many goddamn podcast names. It's episode names. It's just... Damn. Well, all right. We're at we're at an hour thirteen. How are you guys feeling? Good, man. I feel like I need a cheese stick. Mm-hmm. Well, twenty bucks. Twenty bucks a for stick. a cheese stick? Well, no. You can get happy ending with. <laughs> but if you come over to Denver. Hey. Oh, who's that? That's my brother. Second surprise guest on the podcast. <laughs> Second He's not getting credit for the... He's not getting credit. It's like Seinfeld. No. Play like the jingle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we need, we need to get Santana to make a fucking Seinfeld segue type beat. $20 and a cheese stick type beat. $20 and what if I just ask him like hey can you make a $20 and a cheese stick type beat he's like give me 20 <laughs> minutes see what he give me 20 minutes and it's just like some it would be perfectly $20 and cheese stick <laughs> well all right well I'll, I'll let you guys go Gannon do you have anything you want to add to the for the listeners uh nothing off the top of my head Jacob Check out One Piece. Uh, but you said it was mid. What are you trying to tell uh, The card game. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll definitely be back with... Uh, again, are you going to get a starter pack? 
if you can, if you guys can find them. Yeah, if I can find them. I like I said, they're they're selling out. Would man. It be like GameStop. No, you'd have to like a specialty probably card. look up like yeah, Is it like Target. Like a, no, 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 I don't you, think you'd have Target to look up like a, uh, like a special, like a game store. Yeah. Oh, yeah. for sh- for real? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm sure they'd have them in Denver. I was oh, I saw sure. MetaZoo stuff at uh, Target. Yeah, that's when they started falling off. I could go on and on about it. I don't know. Oh, There's damn. a lot of things wrong with the company now, and they're just doing stuff weird and making too much product, releasing it too fast, stuff yeah. like that. Well, hey, we'll have to have you on next time to talk about the MetaZoo apocalypse and we can talk sure. about other stuff. Yeah. Well, it was great. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thanks for yeah, being on. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna plug us real quick. Sorry. I mean, I kind of put this before, but I usually plug at the end. Um, plug anyways, it. Guy, anyways, guys, you can find this on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. Leave us a like, leave us a comment, subscribe if you like what you're hearing. We also have the Patreon. It's only $3 a month. Only three dollars. It's only three dollars a month. That's right, Gannon, and you get access to exclusive content like Next Caller, like Death, our friend. New shows coming out very soon, and we also have a new like kind of subscription type beat service on Spotify and maybe Apple Podcasts. I don't know. This is going to be the first episode, so we'll see how it is, and I'll be able to rewrite the script when. I recognize how it works. Um, but yeah, uh, we, we greatly appreciate it. If you guys did subscribe, it's only 99 cents a month. Uh, it's Patreon's only $3, but with the Patreon, you get access to exclusive content. Uh, but anyways, uh, my name was Chase. And I was, am, and will always be Gannon. Thank you, Jacob, for being on the podcast today. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, thanks for having me. Big game. Peace out. Thank you. See ya.